In this video, we're going to show how to set up the Perform Air Weather Station for a one-run prediction. A one-run prediction uses uh, the, uh, a base run to predict off of. So either it's your best time run or your last good round that you made. Um, you can uh, update this as you go. But it's generally good to do a one-run prediction um, when you first start using the box and you have not yet had enough time to build up a database. The one-run prediction can... Uh, use preset values or ratios or if you happen to know the ratios for your car already um, that being the density altitude to ET ratio and the throttle stop uh, ratio for the vehicle you can enter those in manually so the first thing we want to do is set up the database uh, for a one run prediction uh, we want to select set up database and uh, choose one of the 10 databases that we have uh, database number one through ten. Uh, you can pick any database you want. It's, uh, we're going to start out with number one. And we're going to hit continue. Again, we don't necessarily want to clear out all the runs. You don't have to do that unless you want to. And you have the option to change the name of that database to something appropriate, uh, Super Gas or uh, Joe's Race Car or whatever you want or a certain track name, whatever you want to do. For right now, we're just going to be leave it called database number one. Uh, this time we're going to do a uh, throttle stop uh, mode prediction and we're going to set it for uh, 990 index but this and here's where we choose between a multiple run database and a one run database so here we're going to choose one run so the object again is to set a base run this could be your best time run that you made or your last good round it was a run that you felt went well there was no uh, you didn't let off, it didn't spin the tire, it was a good solid run. So we go ahead and set set base run. Uh, so let's say we made a run and we had an altitude of uh, 3,000 feet, so we'll key that in. And let's say we ran a uh, 9.92 for that run. And let's say we had a throttle stop time of 2.3 seconds. Okay, so now we've entered the base run. The second thing we would enter is our predicted values. Um, you can select whether you want gas or alcohol. And you can use preset ratios, which are just typical ratios, uh, or you can select custom ratios. Like I said, if you know what your car's ratios are, you can enter them. But right now we're just gonna use the preset. Now that we've entered that, we can view this data that we've set up, which shows us the density, altitude, the ET, uh, and, our, and our timer ratio, we're using a two and a half to one ratio and 150 foot per hundredth on our density altitude. And these ratios are probably going to work pretty close for the average car as long as the altitude is not changing significantly between the base run uh, time and the time you're going to actually make a run. So now that everything's been entered, we hit the enter button. Um, we're going to predict with our density altitude, and for the sake of argument, we're going to leave the wind out of it for right now, so we're just going to say no to wind. So now, when we sample the air, it's simply going to look at what uh, the current density altitude is, and then generate a throttle stop time based on that base run. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, now, you can go ahead and continue to enter runs in your database, and you may have five or six runs in there, and, and, uh, but it's not going to use those runs to predict off of. It's only going to use your base run. Um, once you uh, do enter enough runs into the database, you can switch it over and then determine what those ratios are for your car. The box will show you what your altitude and throttle stop ratio are, and, uh, and then uh, hopefully fine-tune your prediction from there. But for now, that's how you set up a one-run prediction.